Morning, everybody, and welcome to our second class of distance learning. I miss you all. I hope that you are doing well and able to figure everything out, love your family, take care of everything you need to take care of. I hope things are going well. I know it can be scary out there and uh, everything else. So um, thank you for your discussion in the uh, poetry that I had you read from uh, Billy Collins on Monday. Uh, it was or Tuesday, depending on which class is watching this. It was uh, very interesting to read all of your comments and your thoughts. Um, and I do want to keep looking at some poetry, and I hope that I will give you a chance to explore it, like the mouse in the poem, or um, water ski across the surface of it, or really think about what's going on, while also using some of our English um, techniques to do it. Uh, I don't want you to tie the poem to a chair and beat it with a hose or torture a confession out of it. Uh, I want you to dwell in it, see what comes of it, and then also think about how the author is developing that. Um, that is legitimate, I think. That is a, a good thing. So today is 5.2. I'm going to read the poem out loud. If uh, you'd rather just read it on paper and follow the directions, that's fine. Uh, but it's, it's nice when the poem is read out loud by somebody, I feel like. So this is called When Death Comes by Mary Oliver. Um, and I will be asking you to think about it uh, to read it along uh, with me or to read it to yourself um, and then think about what stands out about the poem and how does she develop that meaning uh, and then I'm, I'm going to have you write a paragraph about it and submit it for today's assignment and then uh, next week we will uh, dive into some other things so when death comes when death comes like the hungry bear in autumn when death comes and takes all the bright coins from his purse to buy me and snaps the, the purse shut when death comes like the measle pox, when death comes like an iceberg between the shoulder blades, I want to step through the door full of curiosity, wondering, what is it going to be like, be like that cottage of darkness? And therefore I look upon everything as a brotherhood and a sisterhood, and I look upon time as no more than idea, and I consider eternity as another possibility. And I think of each life as a flower, as common as a field daisy, and as singular. And each name a comfortable music in the mouth, tending as all music does toward silence. And each body a lion of courage and something precious to the earth. When it's over, I want to say all my life, I was a bride married to amazement. I was the bridegroom taking the world into my arms. When it's over, I don't want to wonder if I have made of my life something particular and real. I don't want to find myself sighing and frightened or full of arguments. I don't want to end up simply having visited the world. And that's uh, by Mary Oliver, who uh, just passed away last year. Um, and I hope that she was able to, uh, to live that poem out uh, for her own life. So um, take a look at that. Take a look at the directions in 5.2 that I've posted uh, in this assignment. Uh, reach out to me with any questions or concerns. If you want to set up a, a Google Hangout or something with me, that is fine. Come say hi, Naomi. Say hi? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, that's my daughter, Naomi. Uh, she's helping me out this morning. Um, but feel free to set up an appointment with me uh, during office hours or any other time, and I'm willing to uh, talk with you, help you out with the poem, help you out with life, math homework, whatever else uh, you need. Uh, take care, everybody. I miss you. Bye-bye. Uh,